Hi, welcome to today's video all about how to create more financial freedom through a side hustle or online business. And if we haven't met yet, I'll introduce myself quickly. My name is Jessica Johnson and I created a multi six figure content agency after being in my nine to five in corporate looking for more location freedom, schedule freedom, creative fulfillment and I spent years in that position thinking that corporate was the most financially secure, that I made too much money in corporate to take a chance and to leave. I spent so long working for a good salary and getting the promotions and hustling as hard as I could um, and just felt like, oh my gosh, if I go out on my own, am I risking all of that? Am I risking the security? And what I was surprised to find is that I actually made more doing my own business than I did in my nine to five. And it took me a little bit of time to get there, some trial and error, but the good news is I'm on the other side and I can share with you what I learned so that you don't have to go through the trial and error and you can get there faster. And that's really my intention with these videos is to help more women create resources in their lives to create schedule and location freedom so they can work from wherever they desire and have more balance and rest and fulfillment in their lives and then also just the passion piece of working on things that you're passionate about and feeling inspired and alive when you wake up every day all right so now that's out of the way let's talk about the specifics of how to create more financial freedom and if i could go back in time here's the way i would have done it in the fastest way possible all right, so the first thing that I would actually do is to make a list of all of the things that you want to do with income, with resources, with finances. Now this might sound like a nice step and not a needed step, but I'd actually disagree. I think that you have to know your why in order to even begin taking action on your goals and you have to have place for the money to go once it gets there. So this is fun too. like write a list and one day you'll be able to look at back at this list and you will not only feel compelled to keep going and keep working on it and subconsciously you'll pick up on opportunities that make it possible, but it'll be really fun to look back one day and realize that you accomplished all of those things for yourself. So it starts here, make a list of everything you'll do with financial resources. Maybe it is paying off debt, maybe it's buying a home, maybe it's furnishing a home that makes you feel so beautiful and expansive and cozy when you're in it. You know, maybe it is going to, on this trip that you've always dreamed of, one of these bucket list places. Um, maybe it is being able to send your kids to the school that you desire. You know, maybe it's just being able to have a wardrobe that makes you feel beautiful and present yourself in the way you desire to the world. Maybe it's like causes that you care about. Like maybe it's giving to, um, you know, like a nonprofit that you love. Maybe it's surprising waiters with a huge tip every Christmas time. Um, maybe it is being able to teach your kids the value of giving to others, things like that. Like it can be anything from just little things that make you happy and that you want, like facials or fun workout classes to, to things that really, really make a difference and move your life forward and create more security and abundance and memories for your family. All right. So get clear on that list. And then the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to make a list of things that you have experience in. So really go crazy here. At first you may be like, what do I have experience in? But think about the career that you've been in. Think about um, the education you have done thus far, certification programs, things you just have experience in. Maybe it's home renovation. Um, maybe it's, you know, friends always ask your help for cooking um, or for wellness. It can be anything. Um, so make a list of kind of what your background has been thus far or things that you're really good at and know a lot about or are passionate about. All right, so that is like your, you have your two lists. You have your dream finance list and then you have your list of things that you have background or experience in. And then your third step is, if you don't know it already, learn content writing and strategy because that is gonna give you a skill set that you can monetize to make money writing about the things that you know about or have experience in. Now, here's how. Let me, let me connect the dots for you. So think about the businesses that you mentioned you have experience in or you know a lot about. Okay, so that's the industry. Think about businesses big, small, local, national. 
If you said that you have a lot of experience in healthcare, maybe you've been a nurse up until now, Go and think through all of the healthcare companies out there. Think about companies like the big hospital corporations, um, or what are they called? Kind of where all the hospitals networks, <laughs> platforms, things like that. The insurance networks and companies. Um, think about anything in the healthcare industry. It could be supplements, it could be healthy foods, it could be doctor's offices around your hometown, nutrition offices, physical trainers, physical therapists, dentists, all of those are businesses that have content to create. They have blog posts, they have emails, they have social media, they might have a YouTube channel or a podcast, they have a website and web pages and sales pages, they probably have resources, maybe like eBooks or guides. All of that is stuff that you can help them create for a profit, for income. And guess what? They're probably really, really grateful to give that to you because one, they might not know how to do it themselves. Their expertise may be in healthcare, um, you know, or something working with patients. But then two, they probably are very busy and they don't necessarily have time to manage their social media or send an email to their patients or um, write a blog post about healthcare best practices, you know, for the season. And so their likelihood and desire to offload that to someone who knows how to write is so, so high. And there's very little education they need on the value of that. It's a time value, it's an expertise value, it's gonna result in more customers for them so they get the money and business connection. So if you don't already know writing and content strategy, that's what's gonna enable you to go to all of those thousands of businesses that we just talked about and offer your expertise. And you only need a few of them to book full. So one of the big secrets that I learned when I was building this business, and I had this idea that I would need like 50 to 100 clients to have a successful business. And in reality, you really don't. If you can focus on a few clients with a lot of content to create, um, who really need help with all of it, you already, you're going to book full so fast. You really only need a few clients to be completely full. So if you find a local doctor's office that says, actually, yeah, we could use help with someone managing our social media and maybe writing a blog every week. Um, and maybe could you turn that blog into an email newsletter just so we remind people that we wrote it? That could be like one of your few clients that books you completely full um, and gives you financial freedom and opportunity. Now, depending on how many hours you want to work or how, what income you're trying to hit, you might not even need multiple clients. Like charging $50 to $100 an hour, you could have one client and already be bringing in thousands of dollars per month and be good and not need to go ever market again and get another client, right? And chances are they'll refer you to other people, so you'll get clients from that way. Anyway, there's a lot of opportunity here. Um, I don't want to go down too many rabbit holes. Um, I'll drop a training below if you want more of like the step-by-step -step path to get there. It's completely free, but you can watch it if you're really interested. But this third step that I'm trying to get across is to learn content strategy and writing because that's going to give you a skill that you can go out and get $50 to $100 per hour writing for all these brands in an industry that you have experience in um, or know a lot about. All right, and the key word there is strategy because there are a lot of writers out there charging you know, lower rates, um, but if you can add on some of that strategy like I teach in my programs and like I used when I was building my business, that will enable you to stand out more quickly, to book clients more easily, um, and to get, char to get paid to charge those more premium rates because you are a more premium partner. You now have a strategic lens and a business lens and a marketing lens beyond just writing that makes you a bigger asset to brands where they're able to pay more um, and for that added value that you provide. And you can also feel a lot more confident in what you're doing and why, right? It's like kind of a win-win. All right, so a little recap because there's been a lot of information thrown at you for how to create this financial freedom in your life. Um, but first thing is to get clear on what you will do when you have this money. Make your money list. Number two is to get clear on what you already have experience in or know a lot about. And number three is to learn content and writing strategy. Number four is to pitch brands in all those industries that you just thought of and all the companies that we kind of just gave an example for. You can go and 
pitch those brands um, and share with them that you are there, you are ready to help with, with writing for their blogs, their social media, their email newsletters. Um, in my programs, I teach my students how to build a portfolio and samples of work so that when they pitch these companies, they're immediately standing out with these high quality examples of what they can do and brands go from being like, who's this person messaging me to being like, whoa, this is their stuff? Like, yeah, I would love to set up a call to talk, right? Here's our work, can you get started? So number four is you really wanna pitch those brands um, in whatever your area of expertise is. Again, think national brands, local brands, think big companies, small companies, they all have content um, to create and they are probably waiting for someone to message them and someone that they can offload it to, right? And they probably just don't know where to find the right person um, or maybe there's someone who just, they don't know that the quality will be there. So you can really get in the door, especially with samples um, if, you, if you demonstrate them. Again, training below if you wanna learn more on that stuff. Um, and then the last step is really the financial piece of you get those clients, whether it's one, two, three, or four, and you can begin earning fifty to one hundred dollars an hour working on their projects. You can do it from anywhere, so from your laptop. You can do it on your own schedule, any time of day. That's what I love about it. You know, in corporate, I was in back-to-back -back calls and meetings, and I was eating lunch at my desk, and I had to ask permission to have an appointment. You know, and I had limited PTO days. And with freelance writing, you can do it on your own schedule when your energy is highest, when you feel like working, when you, um, you know, like when your family is still asleep. Maybe you put your babies down for their nap, and you get a few hours of writing in, and you make. Make a hundred, few hundred dollars in those few hours of nap time. Like, a few hundred dollars every nap time adds up to like fifteen hundred dollars per week, which adds up to like six thousand dollars per month. Like, that could replace a full income. So there's a lot of possibility, and I just want to get your brain started with thinking about it. But I hope this is helpful to show a path. And you might have to put in a little work. You might have to invest in learning content writing and strategy, but. It's an investment because once you learn it, it's a skill that you can use to get paid the rest of your life. So you wanna shift from thinking about like the time you'll have to put in, the work, the resources, to being like, what will this little amount at the front end get me the rest of my life? Whether in finances, whether in freedom, whether in fulfillment, working on things you love. Um, but those are the steps that I would take. And again, to recap, they are one, get clear on your money list, all the things that you wanna do when you get the money. Number two is to make a list of those industries you have experience or education or training in or passion for. Number three is to learn content writing and strategy. Um, you can learn that from me or online, um, whatever suits you, free training below. Um, number four is to pitch brands in all of those industries that you have experience in. And then number five is to earn 50 to $100 an hour for every hour you work writing for those companies, which can translate into a few hundred or thousand dollars um, per week and you know several thousand per month. Um, if you are working full time, 40 hours per week at $100 an hour, that is around 20,000 per month. That's a $200,000 plus year. Um, so it adds up really quickly and you may not even want to charge that rate. You may not even want to work that many hours, but it can just show you um, how quickly it can scale by putting in that front end work and um, kind of keeping these steps in the back of your head and keeping that money list and goal list front and center. And one day circling back and looking at what you did to create this better life for you and your family and create that financial opportunity and wiggle room and overflow and all the good things in life. So I'm a firm believer in getting more finances and money into the hands of women because studies show that women lift up their entire community when they have more resources. Um, and so I just, I believe we need to talk about it more. I believe we need to share ways to get there with each other more. Um, I believe we need to be more open about it because for years we've been taught to stay silent on this, to let it be someone else's thing, um, to let to rely on other people for it. And this is the first time in history in our culture when we really have the opportunity to make it from anywhere, um, to be able to earn for ourselves, to have a larger say in the workplace, um, or to create our own businesses and be able to then have power and votes and money for the things that we really care about and want to see done in the world. So 
won't get down that path, but I'm so passionate about that. Um, and so I hope this gives you some ideas and a transparent way of how to get there. And let me know in the comments if this is helpful, what other questions you have. And again, if you do want to take that next step, um, I have a free training below for five steps to get started earning $100 an hour writing for businesses online, even without writing experience or an online following or having to post on social media to get clients. So I hope this really serves you and I hope to see you out there with more resources, with more time, with more freedom and fulfillment in your life. And subscribe if you haven't already and I'll be back next Wednesday with a new video. Talk soon.